Now, here's a look at the month of November for the water sign Cancer. Your best days in the month of November will be the 11th, 12th, and the 13th. This is when the moon will be in Cancer. And this is when your good luck is at high tide. When your ruling planet, the moon, comes home to the fourth house, it is time to make needed changes to your life by altering your habits and patterns. Now, here's a look at your love life in the month of November. In the first week of the month, there is a surprise when a look-alike appears to remind you of someone in your past, and then the real thing pops up out of nowhere. In the second week of the month, the people who are against you now will follow the leader and fall like dominoes when you show that you're not bluffing. In week number three, this is your week to receive, but what you get is between you and the universe and needs to be kept secret to serve the greatest purpose. In week number four, an old enemy in the form of a bad habit rears its head and must be put down in a way that shows others that you're serious about this. Now, here's a look at your month of November in your career. In the first week of the month, the unexpected makes you stop stereotyping people by the way they look and makes you pay more attention to the way they act. In week number two, you're outnumbered but convinced that you're right. So stick to your ideals you will eventually come out on top. In week number three, a judgment of some kind is to be settled in your favor, and this is uh, including a secret agreement that uh, runs out of time. Now, in uh, week number four, a powerful person who has helped you before is now pulling strings to aid you once again, and they need to be thanked for their efforts. Now, here's a look at November in your finances. In the first week of the month, when someone is surprised, you get a very true reading on their personality and you get to know what they are likely to do next. In week number two, when others attack your hill, you must not show fear or anger because that's what they expect your reaction to be and what they're ready to take on. In week number three, uh, this is your time to take decisive action, back up the promises that you have been making. In week number four, your help is needed by someone who's not a self-starter, and they need your support and or a kick in the behind to get them moving. So that's a look at your days in November and according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights according to the moon sign. In the first week of the month, this is the week of the first quarter moon, this moon rises in Aquarius. So the dreams and the fantasies that come to you now will show you that imagination exists outside the box of language. A picture is worth many words. In week number two, and this is the week of the full moon. That moon rises in Taurus. So the dreams and the fantasies that come to you now will be tested in reality as bright new ideas that seem to just float down from the spirit world to become practical and useful in your hands. In week number three, the week of the last quarter of the moon, this moon rises in Virgo. The dreams and the fantasies that come to you this week are about breaking away from the usual, becoming a rule breaker rather than a rule maker. In week number four, the week of the new moon, it rises in Sagittarius. So the dreams and fantasies that come now are the result of this aggressive Sagittarius moon. It makes us jump ahead before thinking about the consequences of our actions. And that's a look at the month of November for the water sign cancer. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.
Thank you.